We're going to create an aquarium drawing using one point perspective. You will need an 18 inch ruler if you are using a 12 by 12 inch paper and a pencil to start. We're going to start off by making an X on our paper. We're going to line up our ruler from corner to corner to make sure that it is in the center our X. So make sure you're holding your ruler nice and steady and you can draw it lightly because you might want to erase this later creating that X on your paper to find that center vanishing point. At the bottom of your paper, you are going to mark every inch. Be sure that you line up your ruler at zero and that you're using the inches and not centimeters. This is going to be our floor tiles. You're next going to connect that center vanishing point to each of those little tally marks you just did. Always making sure to keep your ruler connected to the mark that you made at the bottom, that every inch mark, and that center. So notice the ruler is slowly rotating its angle because you're always connecting those two lines, the center point and the line that you just made. This is going to make that one point illusion where things are getting smaller towards the center and they're larger on the outside. We're then going to start by making the horizontal lines for the floor. You're going to start by lining up your ruler at the bottom of the paper. So that the bottom of it, of your ruler touches the bottom of the paper. And then you're going to draw a line on the top of the ruler. Then you're going to make dots on the left side of your floor section. And they're going to get cl slightly closer together as you go. Notice how there's a, a tiny difference each time, getting slightly smaller. Then you're going to line up your ruler very carefully to the edge of the paper. If you make sure that the ruler is straight to the edge of the paper, then it, you will make sure that you have a correctly horizontal line. If you do not line up the corner or edge of your ruler, you might end up with crooked floor lines. So you're going to line up each of those dots to make each of the floor lines. And since they are getting smaller as the distance increases, it creates that illusion of space. Again, making sure your ruler edge, as it shows on the left, is lined up with the paper and then only making that horizontal line across in that one section. Next, we are going to add in our horizontal lines for the walls and the beams. Each of those floor lines that you just made, we are now gonna do a vertical version. So we're going to take the corner of our, our ruler, line up to that edge, that one dot we just made, and in the left section, go from that diagonal line to the other diagonal line. Each of those dots where the floor is, those horizontal floor lines, we're going to make from that corner connection up to the next diagonal, each of those lines. Always making sure our ruler is straight to the bottom or the top of the paper so that we can make sure again that our lines are straight and not crooked. Always make sure your ruler is lined up to the edge of the paper. That way you can make sure you have straight lines. You're then gonna do the same thing on the other side. Each of those connection points, we're going to line up our ruler and create that straight line section from the bottom of the diagonal to the top of the diagonal for our right wall, same as the left wall. We're going to finish up the basic structure of our aquarium by now doing the roof. I like to put a little center point to kind of give me a guide point for where I'm going to have that arch of the roof go. Just like if you've been to a, an aquarium that has an over the water area, it usually has more of a bubble instead of a flat roof. So we're going to take our pencil and connect those two lines. I start from the center so you don't get lost. So start from the center wall and you're slowly building out. And then using that little reference dot to help guide your pencil so it has a continuous curve and a good structure. I'd also suggest 
like the whole time you're doing this drawing, draw lightly. Okay, you might mess up, you might want to erase. On the last section, you will likely want to go off the paper because that center point would be off the paper because it's getting larger. And you have that lovely illusion of space. In the middle, we're going to erase what is drawn and we are going to have a door there at the end. A door at the end of the hallway. If you prefer, you could have it be a viewing window too as well instead of a viewing window of the aquarium. But I'm going to have mine be a door. So I erase the center and I'm going to use that center point and center line, the same center line I have for the floor, and I'm going to make mine a double door. I'm then going to add some handles, and I'm going to start adding the details around the aquarium. We're going to add a lot of life to our aquarium. I like to start off with some basic scenery like some rocks. Keep in mind stuff that's towards the outer edge of the paper is going to be closer, versus things that are closer to the door are going to be smaller because that's further in the distance. So if you're making something like rocks, the rocks or the seaweed are going to be larger towards the outside and they should be smaller the closer they get to do the door. And that will help that illusion of space. Relative size with things being further being smaller. So making sure any details like animals or sea life is going to be larger towards the outside and smaller towards that center vanishing point on your paper. Be sure to fill up your aquarium with a variety of sea life, whether it be jellyfish, fish, scuba divers, anything you want. You can have some manta rays. You could even have some aliens visit if you want. You can be as creative as you want with this. Just take your time, use your imagination, draw lightly with pencil first, because then we'll be adding color in the next step.